Libra, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Libra, let's take a look at next year for you. What has love got to offer you for next year? Bear in mind, well, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also my website if you want to buy individual videos, extended videos. Or you could join my channel to watch extended videos. The cheapest way of doing it is via Patreon, though. You get other cool perks with the other stuff, but... Patreon's the cheaper option. Libra next year. Libra next year. been a while for you, Libra. A long while. To the point where you've learnt to drink from your own cup. And not rely on someone else for love. Somebody else has been throwing the odd breadcrumb here and there your way, though. Tell me more about them. Who is this person? I want to keep you. They want to keep you um, <clears throat> interested in them. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in pretty soon. In the near future, they're coming in with a message, some news, page of ones. There's a cat in this picture here. Cats. <clears throat> Cats come back when they're hungry. They, uh, they're very independent. They come back and give you a cuddle if they feel like it. There's no loyalty. It's more sort of like, well, what can you give me kind of relationship? I only have cats. I love cats. I love them. I'm running out of batteries. Hang on, you guys. I love cats. I love that attitude of theirs. Hold on. Sorry. And that's what this person's going to give you. I think they're coming in with some good news. I think they're coming in with another breadcrumb for you. But uh, I want to say with the, with the moon here, beware. Could be a, you know... The moon's about illusions and dishonesty, lies. Uh, I want to say this person's a bit of a hunter. They like the chase. So someone's coming in, or they have come in, and that's that's who they are. They like the chase. Oh, they're here, a fan here. Could be a Taurus. Excuse me. Kind of a hiccupy burpy thing, sorry. <laughs> Anything else that we need to know right now? This doesn't have a future. Whatever this this is, this doesn't have a future. This is a karmic connection. Oh, karma here. This is something that you need to learn 
a life lesson from. And it's not going to be a happy one. This is not a nice lesson that you're going to learn from this person. But it's a stepping stone to the future, to your new beginning. This person takes what they want, when they want it, and leaves what they don't want. When they damn well feel like it. And I can imagine, like a cat, this person, you know, wouldn't look back. They'd just be like, mm, I'm leaving there. Bye bye. going to be hard for you. But it's not forever. And you're going to learn something valuable from this. Um, best you can hope for with this person. The Four of Cups in reverse. Apathy, Nine of Swords, tried to come out again. This is going to be a very unhappy connection, but it's not forever. It's it's in the now and the near future, and that's that, because it gets better, this reading. So, from this, you're going to learn how to look after yourself, self-sufficiency, to how to protect yourself um, from idiots like this. They're, you know in it for themselves you, you're gonna learn how to protect yourself from that and what's coming up for you i can't pick the card because i just clipped my fingernails two of cups a beautiful connection with somebody it's not this person though but you are going to learn valuable lesson from this person it's a karmic connection With this, with this connection, there's just a whole lot of confusion and unhappiness and uh, they're very selfish, dishonest. This has no future. There's the Knight of Swords in reverse here. They don't care about your feelings. This is like having a disregard for consequences. And that's kind of how they operate, like like the cat. They 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 come in, they get what they want, and they leave when they don't want anything anymore. It'll break your heart, but you're gonna learn something from this, and it's not forever. When are you gonna meet this other person who's totally awesome? Mm, chariot in reverse. It doesn't really want to tell me any. Ideas of when have we got a... It's in reverse. I don't really like to... Any ideas? No. Death in reverse as well. Deal with it. It's coming when it comes. So, you know, it doesn't want to tell you. <clears throat> I don't mean like deal with it. That's like the card saying deal with it. Your commitment is being tested. Thanks. I'm a Libra, so it's probably one of these. Any advice? Love angels, please. I'm going to take it extended after this card where I'm going to ask about this person. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe.
these came out in the, the reverse, so religious factors. Your love life is influenced by uh, your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I do feel like that's got a lot to do with your spiritual path and what's going on with you right now. And I think the universe is still is going to keep sending you dodgy idiots until you get it and get into this energy and protect yourself from that. Trust in reverse. I want you to look at this picture. Look at this dude. He's like with that chick in the white dress there. There's something going on in the background there. I feel like this person can look at you with one eye and be looking at someone else with the other eye without you even noticing. It's because it was in reverse. I sort of feel like if they act like they love you, I wouldn't trust that. I don't think that they do. I think that they their heart lies elsewhere. I'm going to take this into extend of my loves. Um, I would say that the coming year is a lesson in standing in your power and not taking any of this crap anymore. So yeah, I think a new relationship's gonna come up, but until you learn the lessons about what you really truly do want and what you don't want, you're just gonna keep getting idiots. And if you've already learned that lesson, it doesn't matter, you're gonna get this. But if you keep needing to learn that lesson, then you're gonna keep learning that lesson. Does that make sense? Thanks for joining me, see you later.